Hello everyone, welcome back to another dev drop. Today I'm going to introduce our new implicit login feature on, for the CLI tool. Previously, if you wanted to authenticate yourself from the CLI, you would have to use client credentials, um, which just involves passing in your client ID in secret and getting your access token right back. And it's a very quick and easy method, but it doesn't provide any user context. So there are some APIs that aren't available. Um, for example, I'm my default profile on the CLI was authenticated using the client credentials uh, grant method. So this command here, GC users me get, uh, won't work if I use that profile. So the implicit browser method uh, solves that problem. And it just involves going to your, being redirected to your browser and just manually logging in, providing your email address and password for your org and getting your access token through that route. So I'll walk through how you can use this login method. First, we're gonna have to um, configure a OAuth client in our org. So I just have a test one created here. And what's important is that you select token implicit grant under the grant types header and provide the redirect URI that you're gonna use. Uh, I'm just using HTTPS localhost 8080. So this is the address of the local server that's going to communicate with your org and get the access token back. And you need to apply one scope, any scope for to use implicit login. And I'm just going to need this client ID here. So I'll copy that and head back to the CLI. The command you use to create a profile is GC profiles new. And I just need to enter some name here. So, and I'm using the default, mypurecloud.com. I'm not gonna provide any access token. And I'm gonna select number two, implicit grant. So I'll pay, paste the client ID in there. And you don't need a client secret. For this method and I can just hit enter because I'm using this default port 8080 and yes I would like to open a secure connection it's just saying that I have this profile already created so I'm just going to overwrite it and now as you can see I've been redirected to my browser at the port 8080 and the the certificate we have generated locally to open a secure connection isn't recognized by an official CA, but that's fine, it still does the job. We just need to select advanced tier and proceed to localhost. So now from our local server, we've been redirected to our org where I'll just need to enter my email address. And password. to authenticate myself. And as you can see, that worked fine. The, pa the access token was sent back to our local server and we're authenticated now. So I can head back to the CLI. And as you can see now, that profile has been saved. And if I were to run this command again, using that profile, I would, it would work this time. I would get back a um, I would get back a JSON object full of IDs and my email and all the details about the current user. But that concludes it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching.